Bonjour, I'm Edgar Wright, the director of Le Dernier Pub Avant Le Fin du Monde, and you are watching Clone Web. Yeah, the first five minutes of the film is pretty much uh, exactly what uh, I did when I was um, 19. I went on a pub crawl in my hometown, which is the same town where we shot Hot Fuzz. So I had done that like when I was 19, but I had never finished it. I had only got through six of the like the 12 pubs in my hometown. So it was. Um, I'd even written a script about it, like based on. A teenagers going out drinking uh, I never done anything with it so then um, like way way later um, after Hot Fuzz I came up with the idea about adults trying to recreate their their teenage years um, it's the creakiest door of all time <laughs> so it was it was something that came came back later the, that idea about I'm um, doing um, uh, adults trying to recreate their teenage years and when they get back to the hometown <clears throat> they realize something's very wrong you know have you tried again to do the sorry have you tried again to do the no not since no it was uh it was i i know i wouldn't make it uh when i did it when i was 19 i got through six of them so i know that i wouldn't make it now and if you have an, if you have an advice for someone who wants to do it don't do it. <laughs> or if you do, pace yourself. Try and drink a lot of water as well. Uh, with, your, with this film, the, the two first one, you take uh, genres such as zombie movie, invasion movie, into a really British place every time. Is it a way to you, uh, for you to avenge yourself from your country, or is it more something <laughs> with love? A bit of both. I'd say it's a love hate thing. I think, sort of like, you know, obviously I love my home country, but. Sometimes I want to cause mischief and chaos, so I think I think the latter part of it, the kind of like the revenge aspect, is maybe having grown grown up in quite a sleepy part of the country. My natural inclination is to kind of cause chaos. After watching the film, I just wanted one thing for beer. Uh, huh. So, did you encounter any problem about the alcohol issue, any censorship or something? Not at all, because I I also think that like um, in the movie, I think we're we don't glorify it like I think sort of you know you've got a character who's got issues so you know not to give too much away but even in the final scene I think we you know it's interesting people either say they really want a beer or they say they never want to drink beer ever again so uh, you know we 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 don't treat the the subject lightly um and um I think you know people watching the movie are always it's quite surprised how kind of like um, raw it gets in places, which is which is good, which, as it should be. Okay. One thing I love about the thing is the production design of the robots, uh, because they, when they are dismembered, they look like plastic dolls. So is it a way to you uh, to do uh, in a human scale what the China could do with its action figures? Yeah, that's exactly what it was. It's, um, it's the idea that when people get drunk, they start acting like teenagers again so we wanted to give them their teenage toys in a way which was that they end up fighting with dolls they literally end up playing with toys and stuff so i thought it would be very sort of spooky and childlike to have these robots that rip apart really easily and they've even got like blue ink blood to make themselves you make the actors look younger that they've got like ink all over their hands like i used to have at the end of every school day So how do you approach the direction of this kind of scene to always do something fresh and new? I think in, in this movie it was, it, was, it was good because there was no guns, no knives, like there's no sort of, you know, it's all like most hand-to-hand -hand combat. And also that the, the villains are not trying to punch, they're just trying to, to, to grab like the faces of uh, our heroes and sort of overwhelm them. So that made it sort of like interesting because then the choreography was very different. But we also wanted to make it <coughs> both very choreographed and also kind of snappy at the same time. Okay. Now how do you prepare this choreography from the script to the set? 
Um, you know, it's written into the script and then we, I do storyboards and that sort of provides like a roadmap to what the choreographers will then work on, on ideas and they'll put together a sequence and I'll give notes and say, well, this is too long, this shouldn't be in there, like, you know, and then we, it's basically like a collaboration really. And then they work on the, it with the actors. I don't think it's any different really I mean we still get excited by other films coming out and it, it's interesting being in on the process because you know I think you realize like quite how difficult it is to make you know uh, movies or make adaptations or sequels and stuff so it's it's fascinating you know Next one, sorry. Next uh, Jack Jackson movie or, um, or the next Star Wars, or you can yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. Now I'm still a film fan. I, it hasn't the fact that I'm now working in film it doesn't change my excitement for other movies, you know. Uh, in every single of your films, you can find uh, what's the kind of dream for a general director. So after Ant Man, do you still have dream projects? Oh yeah, absolutely. In fact, a bunch of them are already in the works. There's a, a script that I've already written that I'd really like to do, and there's like two other like sort of film project ideas that I want to do as well. So if you have to do another general, another a Western, uh, um, I have this thing I want to do. I've got an idea for a straight horror film, like a non-comedic horror film, and then also um, I'd like to do like a a crime movie as well. Not quite, not quite. Okay. Uh, a lot of people always ask you about space and the possible and the possible future for the series and the character. And now Hollywood loves to turn TV shows into movies, so is it possible to see people for space? No, I mean space is like sort of like finished 12 years ago. Yeah. So I think sort of it would be a very different show today. And I don't think that's necessarily it would be right to um, I don't know if it necessarily be right to um, see these characters older. I don't think anybody really wants that. So I think that's left where it was and where it should be. I have a question about the trilogy. Why are you calling it? Uh, it was just something that was in Shaun of the Dead. It was in there as a hangover cure. Nick Frost character, like um, Nick Frost character, uh, uses it as a hangover cure and it made people laugh and then we put it into the second one as well and then by then it stuck then it was like we had to put one in the third one but we used them to represent different flavors so in the first one it was strawberry in the middle one it's vanilla and in the last one it's mint what is your favorite one? i like mint okay. uh, you have to the shop and stuff you have to be the so we can get that maybe Germans will give you the opportunity to direct one in Star Wars. So have you ever imagined this making a shot of Star Wars film? In Star Wars? Yeah. Um I I never I never thought about it before you just asked. <laughs> but maybe like if I'm in town I'll I'll, I'll try and do that. Yeah. I'd rather be in I'd I'd like to be a stormtrooper. I'd like to just be get into a stormtrooper suit. That'd be good. Oh, I'd much rather be a stormtrooper in the back of shop. Okay. Last question. It's always a tradition for us uh, to ask uh, what is your last favorite film? Last film you completely enjoyed? Uh, that I saw at the on cinema? TV, on the oh, um, I really liked, um, I really liked uh, Spring Breakers, the Harmony Corinne film. I thought that was great. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.